So this is Click Meeting. This is a template that I've quickly made up to demonstrate the capabilities of Click Meeting. As you can see, I've uploaded a presentation already. And this could be a slideshow presentation, documents. You can go through the different slides, make notes on the slides if you want to highlight a tool and erase that. Things you can design when choosing this. And so you can do design a waiting room, the layout of all the boxes, the color, and like I mentioned before, there's a bunch of different themes available. In this layout, there are four main screens. This is the almost the presentation board, the chat area, so testing, um, the camera and voice. So if you wanted to turn on the camera, you can use the camera or just the mic even, just use the mic. And then here's the attendee list. You can see yourself and anyone else that is attending your presentation. At one time, up to four people are allowed to video chat, the presenter, and three additional people. So as far as presenting and sharing goes, so I've showed that you can upload a presentation. Um, you can click this arrow down to open an additional page to open another presentation. Uh, show a whiteboard, share your monitor, or share your screen. Open a YouTube video, or even create a poll. Let's create a whiteboard. See that there's different tools on the side here for text, images, sizes, um, lots of color options for the whiteboard. Again, back up, delete, change the size of your bristle. Uh, you can also, for a YouTube video, you could easily search that up. So let's just throw that one in there. Um, again, you could edit on top of the video, have it uh, loop the video over and over again. You could also create a poll. So I've created a test poll here for all the attendees. So I'm going to use that. And then it'll show people's results. Since I'm the presenter, we only get to see the results. Um, but you could make questions, make them multiple choice, or yes or no and all the results will be tabulated there. You can also create tests for people to take who are taking the seminar. And then, so these multiple tabs can be open for your presentation and for the other side who are attending it, they'll see, they'll just see the different things you're clicking on or the presenters will be able to see the tabs. And Something else you can do is you can look at statistics. So you can see the organizers, what country they're from, and the devices they're using to better model future presentations. So this is if you were doing a webinar, for example, and you had attendees. And you can also, um, if you were attending it, you can agree or disagree to points and raise your hand for different questions. Again, any questions can be added in the chat. And you also have the option to record the meeting and download it for later, for a later time.